but only in the acknowledgement section. So one of the hardest parts about writing my thesis was like the editing part. So I'm actually like having to go through and turn all of my bumbling style writing into more formal scientific writing. Um, so one of the things that I've loved about like blogging and doing the bumbling biochemist stuff is that I can really just like explain things in a way that makes sense to me and in just like a more casual way that hopefully helps on other people uh, like connect with science too. The bad part about doing all of that science communication stuff is that then when you go to do like formal science writing, you have to like take out all of that stuff. So I tried to leave in a couple of things like with, so with like RNA and DNA, you have like the five prime end and the three prime end. And so like, but the strands run anti-parallel when you have like complementary strands. So then this is five and this is three and this is three and this is five. And then it's like, you're supposed to refer to them like upstream and downstream, but I think like five, five prime word and three prime word make way more sense. So I tried to slip in a five prime word, didn't make it past my PI. But anyway, I tried to get rid of most of that stuff before I got um, sent her the draft to look over. But the one section that you are actually able to put more of your like personal style in is the acknowledgement section. So I'd actually save the acknowledgement section for last because I thought it would be the easiest to write in part. But it ended up being really hard and one of the most stressful to write because I was like so afraid of leaving out people. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm really excited to share my acknowledgement sections with those people um, individually. Um, so like my family and friends, um, their acknowledgements and stuff. And then of course I have the more formal acknowledgements um, to people in my lab and people um, who help me with various techniques. Um, but because you get to put more of your own style in it, I get to thank people in my lab, not just for the help that they gave me, but also for not making fun of me for wearing a lab coat cape. Although I do try to do most of my recordings in the very early morning before there's anyone else around. But anyway, so the whole idea with your thesis writing is that it, like, it's like this, it's a formal piece of writing, but you get to be kind of more you get to be, at least in like the conclusion section and stuff, you get to be more like broad and more speculative. So it's not quite like you would find in the discussion section for like a paper where you have to kind of, your ideas have to be more, uh, less speculative, less out there type of thing. So that's that was one of the nice things about the conclusion, the discussion section of your thesis is that you can um, kind of like explore other like potential things and, um, more like far out, well, it could be this type of things. Um, but all of that is still in this like formal scientific um, writing style. But one thing that, at least in my case, um, so you wanna check with your school and your PI and everything, is that, oh, and by the way, so if anyone has been confused with me saying PI, that's um, Principal Investigator, Primary Investigator, so that's like my boss, like the head of the lab. Um, who helps, um, who does all like the grant writing and getting us the funding and then directing the lab and setting the directions and helping mentor everyone um, and make sure, um, kind of like setting the tone and where she wants the research to go and that sort of thing. So that's what a PI is. Um, but anyway, so when you're writing your thesis, so at least in my case, you actually get to say I did something, like when you actually did the something. So. A lot of times in like science writing and stuff. So when I was growing up, I always thought it was like, it seemed more formal or whatever to use like the passive voice, like the samples were centrifuged at blah, blah, blah. But then like you take these like science writing, like when you're getting instructed in like formal science writing, they say like use the active voice. So we centrifuged this or whatever, but it's always like we. Um, so even if you did the stuff, you talk in like the, weave term and so i have very mixed feelings about this in a lot of cases because like science yes it is this team effort and i couldn't do it without all of these people that i acknowledge in my acknowledgements um and that i'm super super grateful for um but on the other hand sometimes it's like it just comes natural to you like 
I centrifuge this um, and sometimes it's nice to get a little like give yourself a little credit for what you've done especially as a PhD student um, where you're kind of like low down on the totem pole and so um, it's kind of nice to be able to say yeah I did this um, but of course there are parts in my thesis so whenever there's something that someone specifically did or someone else specifically did or someone helped you with something you definitely put that in your thesis so I said like with the crystallography stuff like um, a lot um, helped me with the um, data collection and processing and um, the refinement um, help teach me these things and um, help with a lot of it and that sort of thing and so it's really important that you put in those things um, but when you do actually um, like when I ran all these assays and stuff I can say I ran all these assays um, so assays are just like experiments where you're measuring something so I did a bunch of assays where I was like binding stuff stuff where I was measuring um, phosphorylation with all these methods and all these different experiments um, that I can't really go into um, yet um, because my paper's not out yet but once my paper's out then I can tell you like way more stuff but anyway, so yeah, so yeah, your thesis has way more stuff than in the paper though too. Like I've been talking about in past posts. But so you use this like, so you get to use I, which is nice, but then everything else is still like formal, except for the acknowledgement section. And the acknowledgement section, um, you can put more style into and you can like, thanks. So in addition to like thanking my lab mates for not making fun of my cape, I also um, thank some random things that have helped make this thesis possible like coffee and under the desk ellipticals which are kind of insane because i like to like work and move um and so like this is writing and stuff is like ah because you're like in place um but the little like under the desk thing really helps um let's see what else did i think podcasts um so shout out to skeptics guide to the universe and whatever comes on npr one um noise canceling headphones serious lifesaver especially with alarms going off on like refrigerators and freezers like all the time and stuff even though they're like not they're at the fine temperature so who knows um yeah so there's like a ton of things i think um but of course i think like the really serious things too um and so i'm really serious in siri being seriously seriously grateful for those serious things as well um and so yeah so family and friends <clears throat> everyone who supported me um and all of, like the people who make science possible um so especially here because like we had the shutdown during the pandemic and so like the facility staff has been seriously incredible like they never got to take a day off um to stay safe from the pandemic they came in here they were keeping things clean they upped the cleaning so that they were keeping us all safe and i'm just like i will forever forever be grateful um so thank you thank you thank you and i thank them in my thesis i also thank um all of the frontline and essential workers the vaccine makers, the vaccines themselves, like everything that made this possible, which is why the acknowledgement section was so stressful because I'm like, I can't possibly thank everyone and everything that I really, really feel like so grateful for. And I know I'm going to forget people. So there's a lot of like, I'm really sorry. I know I can't name everybody. If I forgot you, it's not purposeful things like that. Yeah, like my my um, undergraduate, like, so of course I thanked, um, my undergraduate research mentor, Jeff Sigmund, who's gonna come, um, we'll zoom in to my defense, I'm really excited about that. But anyway, um, there's also a bunch of other professors at St. Mary's that I just, um, <clears throat> that I really wanna thank, and I can't name them all, and it's just really stressful. I'm like, it's, I feel, you guys are with, in my heart, I just don't wanna, like, cause part of it is if you start naming people and then you forget someone and they're like, oh my God, they're gonna think I forgot them, even though like, you were thinking of them, but they not at that exact moment. And then it was like, ah, um, so a few, I just like, and all the other people. Um, but like, you know who you are type of thing. Um, but yeah, so there's a ton of people I'm grateful for. And it was really fun kind of in the acknowledgement section, being able to do that in a little more of me style, because basically my writing style normally is just like a word dump and then, okay. Um, but so that works for like a blog, but not so much for a formal piece of science writing. And so, yeah, I've always been one of those people who like when an assignment is assigned in like school, I would write like 99% of it and then save like the last part till the day before and then be like, oh crap, I forgot to finish that. Yeah. Um, so, 
that's kind of me because I really hate that last step with like the editing and the formalizing and stuff. So that was like the worst part of thesis writing. Um, <clears throat> so being able to have a little more style and the acknowledgements made up for the stressfulness of being afraid of leaving people out. Um, so yeah, so that's some thoughts about thesis writing, acknowledgement, style, all of that stuff. And yeah. Okay, I guess I get, well now, I, see, it, see, it's so weird. Another thing, really quick before I go, it feels so incredible to have the thesis actually submitted, even though I still have, like, the big scary defense, um, less than two weeks, ah, October 5th, October 5th, October 5th, um, but my friend is defending today, so I'm really excited about that, and being able to, um, congratulate her, and I have this fun gift and stuff to give her, um, so I'm really excited. But anyway, it feels so great to have that turned in because it's like this weight off my shoulder. Like I was feeling like constantly like you should be writing, working on your thesis instead of blah, 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 instead of blah, blah. You know, like it was like every second of every day. And now it's like, even though I have this, like the defense part, which I should be more scared about because like, who knows what they're going to ask me. And I've been working on like studying up all push towards the past things and after finish preparing my talk and everything, it's still like it's not this big thing that I have a deadline of turning in. Um, and so things are feeling more manageable and under control. And I feel really accomplished for having um, completed and turned that in. Hopefully the revisions won't be too bad. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to get back to preparing for that actual defense. So still super busy, still um, stressed out, um, lots to do um, because there's always like more things that you remember that you should be remembering um to like brush up on and that sort of thing especially things that I worked on like in the early days of my PhD like a lot of the crystallography stuff um that I did a lot of in the beginning but then didn't do so much and there's a lot of technical stuff I need to make sure that I am up to date on um in case they ask me questions it's also a, like because people from your panel so like your um the people who are going to be questioning you they came from like they can come from, be from like different fields and stuff. We have an external examiner who I have no clue. She's never like questioned me before. So I don't know what type of thing she's going to ask. So I'm going to try to like read up on her recent papers and that sort of thing to try to get a sense of where she might be coming from and what type of questions she might be having. Um, so yeah, so there's still lots to do, but at least the thesis is turned in. Um, and yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who has helped make this possible. And to the people who I specifically thank in my acknowledgments, once I, um, like, my thesis is formally submitted and everything, uh, or formally, like, published or whatever, um, then you guys will be getting those acknowledgment sections. And, of course, I'll be thanking you um, beforehand as well. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, people. And thanks for putting up with me not editing stuff. Okay, gotta go. Bye. <laughs>